He was too focused. Ew, there's a lot of mushrooms down here. Well, let me go show you what he's doing really quick. You're putting up Christmas lights. Ho, ho, ho. But you have to admit, it's a really warm day. Oh, it's a perfect day to do it. You're Let's... in a t shirt, not raining. We need some Christmas cheer. Yes, we do. I'll show you this hellish landscape of 2020. <laughs> I kind of want to take down this stuff. Dude, we're, we gotta but we've got to. We've got some time here. We'll leave them up for a bit longer. All right, I came out to tell Jason where to put the Christmas lights. And it turns out he's cutting down a tree, which is actually a weed. <laughs> Look at this thing. It doesn't belong there at all. But it's grown from like, I don't know, like a seed or something, but it's not supposed to be there. All right. You know how Jason likes to Use his man tools. <laughs> That's a pretty good sized weed. I mean, it's like, I don't know, seven, eight feet tall. It's crazy. That, dude. Yeah. This is like 10 feet. Yeah, I know. 12 feet. Okay, great. You're it's right. It's a good man tool to cut that down. Show us your man tool, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so he has another little section of lights, and I'm going to have him take it to this tree right here this right back here and he'll just light that little corner tree up a little bit thank you i'm gonna go and edit really quick okay meanwhile abby's in here i haven't put mascara on i haven't makeup on it just doesn't actually look like it until i put mascara on which i'll do in a minute but abby's in here she doesn't like to be filmed so i'll just show you what she's doing for me so she's got the melting chocolates like, so I got these candy melts in blue, white, and red, so you can tell what we're going with for tomorrow. And then I also have some pretzel sticks and some regular pretzels. So Abby is dipping them, but we need to add some oil to it. So she's going to make me some chocolate dipped sticks and pretzels. So, hey boo. I have two things for you. First thing is the Christmas catalog for Target. Second is a letter from Grandma. Uh, that cute? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Good? We just went to Costco. That's not even half of what we got. Got some yogurt. But Abby over here is on round two of pretzel dipping, right? Yeah. You have more over here? Yeah. Yep, she's got more over here, more in there. We've determined that these ones taste way better. Little, the littler ones. So this is more for just decoration and we did a few of those. I'm going to make these muffins tomorrow and I found some American flag little picks and some muffin liners with American flags. So we are ready to celebrate the election tomorrow. In case you don't know what I'm trying to do, I'll show you the whole spread tomorrow. It is five o'clock and already dark. So let me turn some lights on. So I've got a little tray here, but then I'm gonna do another food tray tomorrow. Got the red and the blue here. I'm gonna throw in a couple cold Cokes tomorrow. I'll show you all of it once I kind of get it all done, but it's gonna be a hopefully a fun day tomorrow. <laughs> but now I've gotta figure out dinner. Chelsea and Ashley did a good job. They normally come home at six o'clock, but now it's dark outside, right Ash? Yeah. So the whole, you could tell the whole park was doing their trek home. 
in the dark and they're not used to be coming home this early. Okay, can't do the unloading um, with one hand. So, gotta put you down. update on my twin sister's house that caught on fire. She's staying with my aunt, like I said this morning, and or I said, I think I said it yesterday. I don't remember when I told you guys, but she was really stressed yesterday because the fire department had come in and, and obviously like put out the fire, but it caused water to not only, she has a split level house, and so it not only went, you know, did damage to the walls and the floors on the main floor, but then it like seeped down the whole downstairs. And she literally had just done her new floors, her new carpet, her new, her new hardwood floor, put everything back together probably a week before I went to visit <laughs> for my friend's baby shower. So it was really sad to have all that stuff. And she was like, am I gonna have to pay for that all again? I can't afford this. And she was really stressing about it yesterday during our family call. We had to do a big, huge family call every Sunday for church. But she was staying with my aunt, like I said, and my aunt is very positive, has a lot of positive energy, so I was really glad for that. But we got an update from her, and I'm just gonna read it. Um, uh, well, I'll, my mom wrote an update, but I'll just tell you. So she got in, an update from her insurance company for the house, and they have three agents that are gonna work with her, and they're already doing the work. And it's just so cool how quickly it's starting to happen. It's gonna take some time to get everything repaired and replaced and whatnot, but the fact that they're starting on it day one is pretty cool. So she has one agent um, that is helping her with the construction, working with the contractor, getting everything like rebuilt and re, you know, put back together. So that person helps with all the, you know, the finagling and the timing and the scheduling. Um, so that Aaron doesn't actually have to do that, which is pretty cool. And then the second agent with the insurance company will be in charge of helping Aaron get all the things replaced. So like her couch is damaged, her clothing is probably damaged from smoke, any appliances that were in the kitchen are probably gonna need to be replaced if they had any actual fire damage on that side of the kitchen. That per So that agent will be in charge of helping to replace any of that kind of stuff. So luckily Aaron had um, I think she either photographs or filmed a lot of her house because she had just done these new flooring in all, all throughout the house. And I even have some footage of her home from when I was staying there. So I'm going to ask her if she needs my footage to kind of prove the shape of things before the fire. But also then the third person that is, has stepped in to help that is, it's just part of the process, but she obviously, you don't know the process until you've had your house catch on fire but the third person has been helping her get her housing arrangements because she can't live there it's deemed like unlivable right now as they have adjusters and crew coming in and whatnot so they have her set up in a an extended like a long-term um, hotel setting that has a kitchen and she can take her two dogs doobie and zoe so her and her roommate are going to be able to stay at the hotel tonight indefinitely until the house is fixed or until it's deemed that she can go back in. And I just think it's so great that 24 hours after, well, it's probably like been now 48 hours since the fire that at least she can kind of take a deep breath and like other people are now doing the job of helping her fix her home. So that's just pretty cool. She hasn't sent me photos yet. It's just been a crazy day. So that's kind of the status of where she's at. And we're getting information from Jason's family tonight too about a cool opportunity for his brother-in-law, but we can't talk about that. So it's just kind of been a, a good information night, wouldn't you say? Yep. Yeah, so even though Erin, you know, had this fire happen, I'm just grateful that like she's got 
the insurance good insurance to help cover you know the damage and the process to get everything kind of replaced and back together what do you oh and you're logging in oh yeah you have to give me this so oh i'll get it here um so hopefully by the time you guys see this video um i have to get approval for <laughs> the halloween haunted house that i went through with my friend dallas i explained it in that video but basically i got permission from one person that it was okay to film went through filmed it it's pretty epic and then i got done and someone told me i couldn't use any of that footage so we i have created two separate videos for them to look at and approve if i can use either one of them in a video so it'll be a separate video i'll just post it when i can if i can it'll just be random <laughs> but it's he doesn't know my password do you know my password i don't know you keep everything secret for me <laughs> I do not keep it a secret from you. You just don't remember passwords. I I type that in. You don't. I don't I know. Did. I type that I, in. This is the case for every password that he has to get into. Like he'll in, do I it if it's my password. He'll do it. It doesn't work, and then I'll do it, and it does. You're just trying to keep all your boyfriend's secret. Mm -hmm. All my boyfriends. Yeah, that's the case. No, it's not the so case. So I need to go. In. So. If you see the video, good news. If you never see it, just know those sounds that you saw in that or heard in that video are me probably peeing my pants because the chainsaw guy came out and scared the daylights out of me. And I know who it is now. And I went through with Jason afterward and I went through the footage and I was like, hey, who is this? And who is this? And who is this? Because we knew, knew everyone. And I was like, okay, when I see them next, they're dead. So anyway, we might call it a night, but I might show you the kind of pre-prep with the election goodies that I've got. And then I'll get it all set up tomorrow and you'll see it all tomorrow, so. All right, we're gonna end our pre-election night here. I wanna show you all these that were done up. Abby did such a good job on those, as well as these little pretzel sticks. Tomorrow I will make the muffins and put them in the liners, they have little Fourth of July and little flags. And then I'm going to put out some fruit and some, I don't even know if I have vegetables, but they're not red, white, and blue. But I have some strawberries and some blueberries and some vanilla yogurt that I'm gonna put out tomorrow. That's my red, white, and blue. The girls can make little yogurt parfaits. I'm trying to think what else I had that I got for the red, white, and blue, but we are going to celebrate the election tomorrow. Hopefully till we'll kind of hold off on eating some of the snacks until tomorrow night. But that is why I got some of the other snacks so that they can have them during the day. Um, but I want the girls to watch part of the election tomorrow night in the evening as they kind of start broadcasting some of the results. And I'm just going to preface this today Regardless of our reaction to the election results tomorrow night, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to share my reaction and obviously Jason's reaction. We have similar politics or political opinions, I should say. Um, but I will share that is our opinion and our reaction. It doesn't reflect anyone else in our family or our friends. It's our own opinion and our own thoughts and our own feelings about this current election here in the United States. I don't have ill feelings or ill thoughts or words for anyone else if your opinion is different than ours or if your re reaction is different than ours, no matter how the election goes. So I would just ask in tomorrow's video if we happen to capture our reaction to it in a good way or in a bad way that you respect our wishes to hold that for ourselves, because I think either way we want to capture our reaction and be able to show our kids our reaction and that will be hard if um, I don't get a good if I don't get support from you guys that allow me to feel comfortable to share that with you guys or if I get kind of a pushback based on that it will make me not want to share more with you um, so just respect our opinions on it and I respect yours. I don't want any unkind words in the comment section. Um, I don't want anyone to harass anyone else. 
in the comment section. We don't bring politics to the table very often, but I feel like right now, the moment in history in the United States is pivotal. And I say that um, lightly, but I don't mean it lightly. It's deep-rooted and tomorrow is a big day. So I wanna capture it. I wanna capture our feelings and our thoughts. Sorry, the dishwasher is going. Real world, real life right there. But um, be kind, be thoughtful for those that are not in the US. Maybe you are following, maybe you don't understand what I'm saying, maybe you do. Just be kind. Either way, we're all eventually going to be okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna end our day today and then I will show you more of what we're gonna bring out to kind of feel the election. I want my kids to see it, taste it, feel it, and remember the day no matter what happens. So I'm gonna go because that's just annoying. <laughs> Take care you guys and have a good night.